Welcome back to the April edition, segment two of Conversations with Archbishop Kurtz. And boy, you're in for a treat because we have two fine guests uh, that we're going to be visiting with to talk about the Sister Visitor Program, uh, part of the Catholic Charities programs for the Archdiocese. Uh, welcome, Sister Michelle Introvia and Dottie Steinmetz. Thank you both for coming. Before we dive in, uh, I want to introduce and give a little background to each of you and then, and then use most of the time here just to talk about the important work you do. First of all, Sister Michelle, uh, you're the director, I know, of, of Sister Visitor Program. Uh, I knew this. You're a native of St. Louis. You entered uh, the uh, Ursuline Sisters of Mount St. Joseph in 1979. Uh, what I didn't know is that you were a, a high school teacher for special needs students, an elementary teacher, a principal, and a missionary in Chile. So you've really had a very full, full pastoral ministry. Um, you began at Catholic Charities in uh, 2005, and I know you've been a director since uh, 2010. So thank you so much for that. And Dottie, I know that you're a, a member of St. Uh, Barnabas Church and your late husband Emil, as well as uh, your five children, grown children, are members. Now, here's the part that blew my mind is uh, I thought it was a typographical error. It said here that you've been working in the clothing room at Sister Visitor for 30 years. At my least. gosh, you must have been in grade school when you started. <laughs> How about that? Well, welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. Um, many of our viewers may not know this, but uh, Catholic Charities has a special place in my heart. I worked in, when I was in Pennsylvania as a priest uh, in Catholic Charities work for about 25 years and really uh, loved, loved the work. Uh, here in Louisville, it's a special thing because this is the 75th anniversary this year. Yes. And Sister Visitors program is, is such a, an important part of the work of Catholic Charities. Um, I was told that Catholic Charities is the single largest private provider of helping individuals in the whole United States. So what we're talking about today, locally, is part of a great movement throughout the United States. Sister Michelle, uh, tell us a little bit about the Sister Visitors Program and what people ought to know about this program. The Sister Visitor Center was um, started by the Sisters of Charity. Mm -hmm. They began the program in an elementary school, I believe it was in a janitor's closet. Oh my gosh. They were seeing the children mm -hmm. come in, um, I, I believe, dirty and hungry. So the sisters started going visiting homes. That's how the name came I to be, see. a Sister, right. Visitor, Sister Center. Visitor Now today, we do visit some homes on occasions, but we are so busy that going out to visit homes is, is not an option. Yeah. Um, people come to visit you. Yes, we have the clients and, and come to visit us. And the brand is there. It's really well known yes. within Louisville. We are one of 15 emergency crisis centers in the Louisville area, collectively known as the Area Community Ministries, mm -hmm. which is the ACM Ministries. Mm -hmm. We serve the people in the West End, in the Shawnee, Portland, and Russell neighborhoods, mm -hmm. which are some of the poorest in Louisville. Yeah, they are. We provide clothing, food, medication, we purchase medication, and household supplies. And um, we provide financial assistance one time a year, unless we are involved in special grant programs. Okay. So when we have other programs. There's many different ways someone might benefit by yes. coming to Sister Visit. You're right across the street from the former St. Anthony's yes. Church on Market Street. And boy, you've got a nice building there. I, I went through it not too long ago. Thank you. We just renovated like three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. We, uh, of course, we made more space. Right. Um, afraid we might need a little bit more space. But. Well, you were crowded the day I was there. And, yes. I, and I have to say, the people come, everybody, the people who were volunteering, the staff, uh, the, the residents who were coming for help, uh, there was really a wonderful spirit of welcome there. Thank so you. congratulations on that spirit. Thank you. Yeah. You've done a great job with it. And I know uh, one of the main things that you, you give credit to are the volunteers. And yes, I was impressed by that. And Dottie, we're really grateful that you're here today. Tell us a little bit about your volunteer work and what, what got you there and, and what you do. Um, 
I, I joined a club called Creative Homemakers, hmm. and that must have been, I don't know how long ago it was. We've forgotten. We celebrated our 35th anniversary about four years ago. Mm -hmm. So a service, Sister Visitor was our service project. Okay. And at that time, we just brought everything that we could to the meeting that Sister said she needed. At that time, it was Sister Janet Doherty, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, then eventually it evolved to our going down there and, and working on Mondays or Tuesdays, and we had a pretty good group going. And it, that kind of fell off because we've all gotten older. Hey, we, each and year we get older, don't we? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there's nothing but, we can do about no, it. No, but you've stayed young and 30 years doing it. What Do you go once a week, or how often do you once go? Once a week. Mm -hmm. I started out going once a month mm -hmm. because that's what we and did. And how long do you serve there? How, when you go a, 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 on a day, what? Uh, uh, we stay about four hours. Four I hours. That's we, good. That's very good. That's very good. Lunch, what do you yeah. like about it, Dottie? What, what? Well, I like the fact that we're helping people, mm -hmm. and I'm so impressed with the staff, excuse mm -hmm. me, with the staff, uh, how hard they work and how nice they are to the clients. Mm -hmm. And I'm impressed also with the uh, all the churches around, uh, like St. Barnabas, we take up collections every once in a while, mm -hmm. toilet paper or socks or whatever. Sure. And uh, so many churches do that. We're just... I'm just really impressed with yeah. it. You become friends too with the people with whom you serve, don't you? And maybe oh, yes. some of the people you We're help, like a you know. little club. Now. Yeah, I saw that. When I was there, I think I was there the, one of the days that you were On working. On Thursday. And, and boy, that was a that was a great uh, atmosphere that was and there. And because there are so many, if you can't go, it's all right. Is there no more room for volunteers or can if somebody oh, There's so, plenty more room. <laughs> <laughs> so so if someone's listening to this program or watching it, uh, and they say, gee, I wouldn't mind volunteering. We could probably put on the screen. Uh, should we put your name on there or what, sure. Sister Michelle? Well, that would be fine, but really they need to touch base with Rita Eichert at Catholic Charities. She's well, you know the what? volunteer director. Cons consider her name on the screen. Okay. And Thank we'll you. get her phone number, so you don't even have to put that on there, but it'll all be on, on the screen as we're talking. Okay. That's great. Right. Well, tell us a little more now. What else? What, what can people do to learn more and to, to be a part of the mission? That well, Catholic visitors? Charities has a website. It's ccarchlew.com. Mm -hmm. that they can go on and you can look at the website and learn all about all the different programs at Catholic Charities and the Sister Visitor Center is a part of that mm -hmm. so you can learn there. Um, anybody who would love to come and take a tour I would love to do that that's always nice to show people what we do and you know who we are. Um, I think there are lunches, weren't there? I, I, I know that yes. I was, Steve Bogus was telling me that there's lunches that people can, can come to and then get a fuller view of all the works of yes, Catholic Charities. Yes, it's called Lunch and Learn, and um, we do it every other month, and that's also on the web, and if somebody's interested, they can sign up. And oh, then very good. That takes place at the Sister Visitor Center, and we do an overview of all the programs at Catholic okay. Charities. You know, that's so important. We often hear, well, the best, the the, the, the the biggest secret that, that people just don't know about, and certainly the work of Sister Visitor Center and the work in general of Catholic Charities. And also, I have to say, Dottie, the work that volunteers like you could do. Uh, I know you do it out of love for Christ. Mm -hmm. You do it because of your deep faith. But boy, how impressed we are with uh, the work you do. You make the church come alive. Well, and we hope so. Well, you sure <laughs> do, you sure do, and thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. You know, the time goes by quickly. And so uh, I, I want to thank you thank for you. being here and being part of this uh, second segment of uh, Conversations for April. And I want to thank you who are uh, the viewers. Thank you for your uh, being present and taking part in this conversation. Uh, please stay tuned uh, as we get ready for segment three of Conversations with Archbishop Kurtz for the month of April.